in that fashion. Also, you know, um, in terms of banking aspirations, and you've clearly stated that you aspire to be a bank. Uh, any particular merits you see in that model vis-a-vis -vis the existing model that uh, that make that a uh, more uh, attractive way to go forward? I think for any financial services player and for us, a banking license is very attractive. But we need to take a reality check on that. We need to understand the government policies. Are we satisfying what the government wants us to do with the banking license? And simultaneously, does it make economic sense for us and for our shareholders? So as we evolve and we understand that more, one will have to take a call. Definitely the model the government has put out, I think is attractive. They very clearly don't just want a bank that's focused into the bigger metro. They want a bank which is financially inclusive. It penetrates, makes it a banking make available to the rural masses of the country, which is very critical, which I think is important. We need to balance it out with the cost that entails and of the economic benefit that gives to the business house that takes on to it. So I don't see any demerit in the model. I think it's a very positive looking model, forward looking model. I'm sure, I don't know, maybe it'll get tweaked as it goes along. But from a religious perspective, we clearly will have to study it deeply, see if we actually are able to deliver to the aspirations what the government or the regulator may want us to do. Because we don't want to have short, being shortcomings over there. At the same time, we want to be sure that economically it fits in with what our aspirations are. So as long as both are met, I don't see a challenge in that. How would you pitch yourself to the regulator if you were uh, you know, to decide that uh, going forward you wanted to be a bank? What would be really relegated as pitch? I think very clearly the singular most important pitch is we are a differentiated player than anybody else. There is no other financial services player in the country which is so diversified as we are. Not only just in words but by dedication. You actually see our infrastructure, we are majority not in tier 1 cities, we are in tier 2, tier 3 cities. And we did this not looking at the banking license or what it did, it, we did it because we felt there's a lot of low hanging fruit in tier 2, tier 3 cities. So we have grown in that manner. We are covering the entire ambit of financial services. And well, that country is one, but then we are singularly the largest player I think from northern India. So that clearly puts a different perspective that we look at the country as a whole. And it's not as if we are sitting in Northern India and we are Northern India focused. We actually are very pan-India footprint in whatever we do. Let it be lending, let it be wealth management, insurance, equity broking, commodity broking. So we are covering the entire ambit. I think that itself is a differentiating factor. I think if I were to add a very critical part to that is that we are a very professionally run organization. These largest stakeholders, technically what we call promoters in our part of the world, do not sit on my board. So we are a very professionally run organization. There is talent which you recognize. There is an independent sitting on a board which are of global, you know, uh, recognitions. And each business that is run under the holding company have their own CEOs, have their own uh, independent boards, they're empowered. So basically the holding company is just a platform for aggregation of businesses. It does not generate revenue, but clearly it gives them direction of what to do. Now from that perspective, if you actually look at what a banking should be, I think it's a, we are very clearly working like a bank. We run the same regulation, the committees, the risk management, we run it like a bank today. So an evolution to a bank is something which is very natural. You know, we will have to abide by a lot of other regulations that will come in. But in mindset and working and talent, we are there. When you look at the reconstitution of the board that you mentioned, it was a, probably a landmark event for Relegate. Um, given the fact that uh, you know the promoters repose their entire faith in you and your management team, uh, and more importantly, uh, you know the fact that uh, this was going to be a company that was not going to have promoters on the board, was that really decision taken um, to ensure or at least uh, you know uh, to prepare yourself for a banking foray? No, that decision was not taken anything keeping banking for in line. I mean, this decision was taken actually months before it was executed. I think Malvinder and Shivinder, I hold them in very high esteem because they are not only the stakeholder, they are very good, more than family to me personally. And they have always been very forward-looking in what they have done. I think between three of us, we have an equation which is very unique. And that is that equation that runs all the businesses that run among us. They are forward looking, they clearly see that they had a huge faith in the management team that is there running Relegate. They have seen it grow and they felt that they needed to deploy their time 
on other meaningful activities which can grow the family wealth on the healthcare side and affiliated businesses. So I, the decision was taken before the execution happened coincidentally at that point of time and coincidentally the banking announcement came later. So it was all a coincidence. Very honestly it was not pre-planned. There was no intent in that. They have always had faith in the management team of Religare. It was being run professionally and they said let us make room to get in rather than enlarging the board. Let us step aside and get in talent at the board level of the global standard because now we are venturing into global arena. So Stuart comes in from investment banking platform, Catherine comes in from asset management platform and both of them are brands in their own segments of the industry. So that definitely gives us a lot of insight of what we need to do as we grow abroad. So this is aligned to our growth strategy, not, not at all looking at what banking license will emerge or will not emerge. Yes, it is unique. I don't think from any, I, I, I cannot recollect too many companies that come across whether you know, our size promoters or the stakeholders don't sit on the board. It's not as if they are not sitting on the board, they have totally empowered and they act like stakeholders. So we work in Religare as a very professional level, not only at the holding company level, even at the subsidiary levels. So it's a great message to give out from a governance standard to international as we go abroad, getting acquisitions, expanding our footprint to various geographies, that we are a professionally run company. We are not driven by personalities of the stakeholders on the board. We are driven by talent by our ability, by our aspira aspiration and our capability to deliver what we believe in. Finally, you know, uh, the promoter themselves, both Malvinder and Shivinder, uh, uh, like you said, you're, you're pretty much like a family member for them and, uh, you know, at times an elder brother, at times an e even a mentor. Um, is that a lot of responsibility to shoulder uh, for you personally, the fact that you're also guiding them uh, in their aspirations for other businesses? As well? well, I think you give me too much credit when you call me a mentor and guiding them. They, uh, both Malvinder and Shivinder are very intelligent, very entrepreneurial and very well educated and very well brought up uh, people, you know. There is a huge sense of bonding we all three have. We understand each other well. We understand our strengths very well. We understand our weaknesses very well. Nobody is perfect, but we clearly put together three of us. I think we come close to perfection. There is no such thing as perfection in my philosophy. Everybody works towards perfection. So as three of us, we work like a team and we mentor each other, we guide each other. We all have got our responsibilities cut out for us. We all have got our accountabilities cut out for us. So at times when I need to be there for them, I am there. When they need to be there for me, they are there. So it's a very mutual, well-respected relationship. And I'm senior to them maybe in age, but I think in attitude and working, I'm much younger than them. All right. On that note, uh, Mr. Godwani, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thank you very much.